Hello people, welcome back to the channel. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to talk about how do you take a standard looking chart like this with no title and make it look like this. Let's start. All right, quick interruption in the video. Later this month, I am actually going to be doing a live training session on Power BI. And we're going to be focusing on the hard parts of Power BI. We're going to be focusing on Power Query, Data Modeling, and DAX. If you've recently started with Power BI and you have struggled to learn data modeling, Power Query, and DAX in a structured way, and you need my help, you've watched the videos, you've liked the way that I teach, and you'd like to enroll for the session, this is going to be a great learning opportunity. Note that this is going to be a live training session, and if you're the type of person who'd like to sit along with the trainer and you'd like to get your doubts sorted, um, you know, get your doubts clarified as you move along in the training, get some assignments right after the training session, it's going to be a phenomenal learning opportunity. Now, just two more things. There is definitely going to be a last date for the training because we are starting later this month. So check that out. And also, uh, there are 15 seats available and of which five seats have been filled up. So in case you want a spot for yourself, do not wait and just fix up a spot for yourself. That's all about it. And uh, we'll just get started with this video. All right, let's just start with a generic chart in Power BI. Now, in this particular chart, if the user takes a look at this chart, he would not be able to first of all figure out what is this chart talking about. But maybe after a while, the user sees that here on the axis, we have total sales mentioned. So perhaps maybe the chart is talking about total sales across all the months right here. That is fine. Now, let's just say that we add the chart title to this particular chart. The chart becomes slightly more descriptive. So I'm just going to go over to the format right here and add a chart title right here and the chart title is there. Now the user can certainly take a look at the chart and decide that this is going to be total sales by months. But perhaps this is still not very sufficient because this is the prime space at which the user is going to take a look at the first thing, right, when he takes a look at the chart. So we might want to kind of put in a bit of effort to create a chart title, which is not generic like total sales by months. It actually talks about something more meaningful, something more insightful that is readily not apparent from the chart by just looking at it. Now, if you were to consider uh, maybe charts from McKinsey, Boston or Bain or any of these top consulting or investment banking firms, you're going to take a look at phenomenal chart titles that you would see. Sometimes these chart titles are also going to run in a couple of lines uh, to describe what are they trying to talk about in the chart. Now let's just start to design some creative chart titles and also talk about some design aspects of those chart titles. Let's start. Okay. The first thing that you would want to do is to start with an insight, an insight which is not readily available in your chart that you would want to find out and then put that as a title of the chart so that the chart title is not really generic, is not really like total sales by months. Now, if you take a look at the chart that I'm presenting to you on the screen right now, it doesn't really show a generic title like total sales by months. It actually shows you that November and December months showed the highest sales growth year on year calculated. Now, one would have to do some work to be able to find that growth year on year and then put that on, to, on the top of the chart. Now, the question is that is this particular title important to the stakeholder or not? That is something that you'll actually have to try and out with your stakeholders and figure it out that what kind of insightful chart titles or insights are sticking with them. And then once you have a hang of what your stakeholders are typically looking in the charts, that's the kind of insights that you would want to convert it into chart titles and put that on top of the charts. Now, how do I calculate such a thing? It's very, very simple. In Power BI, on a top of a chart, you can actually change the chart and use a formula instead, instead of writing a generic title. I'm going to talk about that. So for this particular chart, I went over and I created a simple measure, which is something like chart title right here. And if you take a look at this particular measure, all that I'm doing is extracting two months because I just want to talk about two months. Use a filter right here to find out that which are the top performing months in terms of year on year growth. And once I find those top performing months, I just simply use a concatenate X function to be able to concatenate the names of the months alongside what percentage of growth have they actually witnessed. And that's it. A bit of concatenation here and there, strings being concatenated and things like that. Once I generate that particular title, now this actually generates a string. If I were to take this particular measure and draw it up as a card, you're going to see that I get something like this. It's a card visual. Now, this particular card visual is obviously dynamic, and this is going to change if I change the slicer or any particular interaction in the visual. So if I were to select 2004, obviously, this is going to show a new chart title, but insightful chart title. Now, what you can do is you can actually 
uh, get that particular chart title to act like a title of your chart, right? So I'm just gonna click on the chart, go over to the format, and the place where you pick up the generic chart title, which is where I can actually use a formula and point the formula to pick up this particular chart title that I've actually created right here. That's it. Once you do that, you can do a bit of formatting, coloring, things like that. And that is actually now going to sit on top of the chart, which is not going to talk about generic insights, but more meaningful insights that's going to make your chart stand out. Part two, make it bold. Now, once you've figured out what is the kind of chart title that you would want to put in terms of an insight. Now you have to also make sure that your chart title is read and people don't omit reading the chart title. You have to make sure that the chart title is apparent and people don't miss reading it. Now there is one rule that I generally follow in terms of data visualizations, which is the rule of size. Size is the factor of importance in data visualizations. So if something is bigger on the screen, it obviously is going to catch the attention of the audiences, whether that is done intentionally or unintentionally. Now, please take a look at this particular chart title that I have created. Now the insight that I was maybe doing in the chart was very useful and I would want that not to be missed. Now what I have done is, at the prime location of the chart, which is the top left corner, I have made sure that the insight is readily available in bigger font size, much, much larger font size, so that the audience is able to take a look at it and make some decisions based on the insight itself. Now, in case you would wanna go further from the insight and take a look at the chart, you're more than welcome to do that, but the insight delivers a lot of value right in these few lines of text that I have. Now, how can you make these texts larger? Now, obviously, when you're using a chart title, a chart title cannot be made in custom size and custom fonts and things like that. So what you can do is you can use something like a text box visual. So I create a blank text box visual. In the blank text box visual, what you can do is you can start adding your insights that you have prepared. So I've prepared another measure, which is mostly the replica of the same measure that I have created, which is nothing but this particular measure. It's the same thing. The only thing which is missing as, as of now is the last part of concatenation of the names of the months being concatenated and things like that. So that is missing. Rest everything is the same. It still gives me the names of the months. It still gives me what growth percentage have they witnessed as compared to the last year. Now, what do I do? I take this particular thing, uh, this particular title and I add that to the text box. How do I do that? I'm actually going to click I'm um, just draw a text box and here uh, on the text box I get this plus sign right here. This plus sign allows me to add insights to this particular text box dynamic insights that are going to change based on slicers. So I'm just going to click on plus value right here and I am just going to go ahead and add that particular measure. So I'm just going to type type like dynamic uh, title formatted and that's it click on save and you can see that this particular chart title which is currently larger in size is now sitting right here as the thing now obviously i can make this larger because i have to make it bold i have to make it sure that this is not left out and this is still being read so i can just select on this thing once again and make sure that this is really large in size so i'm just going to select that save just going to select that as a text and make sure this is somewhere close to 20 uh, make sure that I have a certain font, certain font style and things like that. And underneath this, I can start to write more text that goes along with this. So I can probably write something like this. So showed the highest sales growth year on year, something like that. And obviously once you start to change the color of it and you know place it on the right location, this is somehow going to look something like this. Now, because I don't really have any borders and things like that and my chart is neatly formatted, it looks like this is the chart title which is coming along with the chart, but this is a separate object altogether. But this actually proves the point that if you actually put in the two efforts that I have just talked about. One is finding the good insight, which is going to add value to the chart rather than just slapping generic titles. And the second thing is formatting it and making it bold so that it stands out and the value starts to deliver insight and the insight is not missed because it was smaller in the font size and things like that. Remember, I'll say it once again, size is the factor of importance in data visualizations. All right, that was it. All right, that was all about creating awesome chart titles for your charts. If you have any questions around this, please feel free to drop in a comment and I will be glad to reply. In the end, a quick shout about my upcoming Power BI course that I'm doing. It's a live training session 
and I'm sure you would have taken a look at a snippet at the start of the video. The link for registering for the training is there in the description of the video. If you're interested to sit down with me over a live video call and learn the elements of Power BI, Power Query, DAX, and you know uh, some data modeling, I'd be more than interested to have you in the training session. Feel free to register, and I will see you once again in the next video and possibly in the training session. Thanks so much for sticking around, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.